Welcome to another video where we are looking at Microsoft Word or word processors and we're looking at shapes. We're trying to get into shape, but as I keep telling myself around is a shape, so I'm fine. So let's try play around with shapes in Word. So if you want to get to shapes, shapes are really useful to highlight certain text, to put borders around certain things, but also just to draw some nice interesting graphics. So we're going to come here to insert and over here you'll see our shapes. Now if I click here, there's a whole bunch of shapes that are available to us. There's your most recently used ones, but you've got your basic lines, you've got basic types of rectangles, some of them have got little curved edges, some of them are like trapeziums, then you've got your basic shapes with some funky ones like hearts and lightning strikes, you've got your arrows which are really good for indicating certain things, equation shapes, if you're doing flow charts, you've got them, and yeah, we've got stars and banners where you can create some really cool scrolls, for example. And core lights, these are really nice if you would make in, for example, a cartoon, you really want to use that. So if you click on any of these shapes, let's say I'm taking this rounded rectangle over here, if I click on it, and you can drag it onto your page, and there you've got your basic shape. Now the moment you've got your shape and you've clicked on it, you've got all of these options over here. So if the basic options are, for example, changing the size, which you can do by a particular value, or you can just use these bubbles to make them bigger and smaller. You can rotate the image if you want. This doesn't really affect our, this type of shape, which is very symmetrical, but maybe, for example, a lightning strike that you want to face in the other way, that could be useful. Now you've got some text options. Now you say, Mr. Long, where's the text? But you can right click on it and you can actually add text to your shape. So you can say, hello everyone and then you can go back to your home to go get to your text options for example making the font a bit bigger but you need to make sure that you select the text first and make the font a bit bigger there we go and you can change the color of the text there as well let's make it orange and bold now if we go back to the shape format you could have also changed the text over here what's quite nice here is that you can actually do the outline of the text so we can actually put like a white outline around it that's also quite useful and you can also select the block and add, for example, some sort of glow effect or reflection or shadow if you want to. So if you want to make a nice little glow effect, we can do that as well. And we can align the text to where you want it in the shape. If you want it to the top and so on, or we have the text direction. So a lot of these are very familiar to you. By the way, it's position. You can say where its position is on the screen. And if you're wrapped text, if you're going to make it tight, it allows you to be able to drag it wherever you want and all the text will flow around it. I tend to like using tight or in front of text because then it allows me a lot more flexibility with moving it around. If you don't like the colors, you can come here to change the fill. You can change it to a particular type of color that you want to choose, or you can just choose a gradient if you want to have two types of colors. What's nice here is you could select, for example, this one, and you can see that there's like a darker to lighter effect, or you can just go here to more gradients, and you can see over here we've got lots of options. For example, the angle of that gradient, maybe we want the gradient to come from the top corner, for example, like there, so it's coming from the top corner and getting lighter, and you can actually change these colors so if I click on one of these and then I change its color for example yellow then you'll see it be a yellow that fades into this color which then fades into that color so you can actually move and see where you want that fade to be if you only want two colors you can click on the one you don't want and delete it and then on the second one we can go change its color let's say we want that one to be more of a blue effect and we can change where that blue starts for example and if you want to add another color in between you can just click on that option and adds one in the middle and we can go okay let's make that a lighter blue and have more of a yellow to light blue to dark blue effect and you can change its position for example for that particular one you can change its transparency and its brightness which will only affect that particular one when you click on the others you will have to reset those ones as well if we come over here we can go to the effects of the actual shape so we can actually put a shadow on the shape if i do that you'll see that there's now a shadow around the shape and you can play around with the others if i click on this one it's the layout options of where we want the text to be if you want it to be in the middle if you want it to be at the top for example you can play around with that you can also specify the margins inside of that text so let's say we want the top margin to not be so big so let's make it a bit smaller and then you'll see the text gets closer to the top and you can also click on text options and change the text options here by transparency the full color you can change the outline color over here as well there's the text effects and there's the alignment as well so lots of options that you can play around with with the text of the shape you can also add like for example a 3d rotation if you want the shape to be at a particular angle i'm not going to do that for this one but you can play around with those those are pretty nifty they're also pre-designed styles which you can play around if you want to use one of these rather you can do that as well and those blocks mean that it's transparent that there's no fill so that's one of the options if you want to for example just have the outline of the shape and you don't want the inside of the shape you can change the fill to no fill and then it'll hide all the color that's in it so then 
whatever's written behind it you will see that is visible so let's go back to our originals color scheme now if you don't like that shape and you say i actually want to change this particular thing to a completely different shape and you don't want to redo everything and you can select the shape and you can come over here and you can actually change that shape to another shape let's say i want this one to be more of the heart shape so by doing that then you can see that it's automatically changed to the heart shape just make it a bit bigger so we can see all the text and there we go so there's our basic shape that we can move around now a lot of the times you're going to be using lots of shapes so let's say we're going to put in another circle that's over here and i'll put it over there and one of the things you can do we said with the fill is we can actually change it to a picture there are textures available that you can use for example if you want that particular texture which is like a picture that's built in but with the fill what happens if you want to go find your own picture so i'm going to go find a picture quickly and there we go i found my logo so there's my logo that's in the picture and let's say i don't want that line so i'm going to say that the shape outline is going to have no line so it's just the picture as it is so there we go now if i want these two shapes to be as if it's one picture i want it to move it around as it is you can actually select the one shape and press ctrl and select the other one or you can come here to select and you can select objects and then drag your mouse over all of them so that they're both selected when they are both selected you can see the bubbles around all of them you can right click on it and group that particular shape you can add other images for example and other like word art to this and then you can combine them all into one image so now it's treated as if it's one image and we can move it around you can still access them individually by clicking on the different shapes individually and still change their settings but as a whole they move together as a group if you want to undo that you can right click and you can ungroup it and you can move things around if you want for example and then select both of the items again and then right click and we can group them again if you want to make them back into an image and Another option that some people use is if they go insert and they come to shapes, they go to new drawing canvas. So you can actually have this canvas available, which I'm going to make a bit smaller, and you can actually put shapes onto this canvas to treat it as a group. So let's go insert some shapes. We're going to insert a smiley face onto the canvas. We're going to insert some lightning as well. And let's add another one let's add an arrow there we go so now this is like you grouping it before you group it so now it's treated as one image so you can click on it and position it to be tight so that you can move it around wherever you want but you can see it's treated that as a canvas and you can change the background of that canvas if you want you can change it to the whole canvas or you can select individual images and just change the fill of just that one so you can still edit them individually but it's nice that it creates like a predefined group that you're playing around with and one last thing if we insert a line one of these line options for example let's say we're going to do that line and we're going to draw it down like that so you can play around with the outline there is no fill to it but you can play around with the outline so we're going to make for example it's going to be purple and we're going to change the thickness of that line by changing its weight so you can make it really thick all of these options under the outline can be done to the outline of any shape as well so you can actually change it to like different types of dashes and so on or change what type of arrow it is if it's a two point pointy ends or just one or one in the other direction or you can use one of these as well so just remember with the lines you don't actually have a full option but you do have all these other options available to you and the last thing is just if you take a particular shape and you come here to the shape format and you want to edit particular points a lot of shapes have particular points on them so if i want that smiley face to be a bit bigger you can actually edit that a little bit and actually make that smiley face a little bit more smiley so there you can see it's a little bit more smiley you can click on this one as well and go edit its points and you can actually make those points a bit bigger and more accentuated if you wanted to so you do have those options if you want to edit the shape a little bit more but that's only if you really are creative and artistic in how you're going to design your particular shapes so there we go you can play around there's tons of options available here under the shape format ribbon you can click on the shapes and you can play around you can really make some nice images or logos that can really enhance your word documents i quite often use arrows for example or these little shapes just to highlight particular text or to indicate things that are moving from one side to the other so go play around with your shapes don't forget to click on that subscribe button and make sure you follow our other YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms if you want to learn about some computer theory and follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.